Officially, they will call it the Gator Bowl. Unofficially, it's been tabbed the Urban Bowl, a bowl which will pit Urban Meyer's past team against his present. The past, though, doesn't feel the present will benefit. No, I don't think so. I don't know how much Urban would be involved, but I'm sure he's out you know, working and recruiting and trying to get ready for next season at this time. But uh, as far as the preparation is concerned, other than maybe just knowing you know, talent level of, of, uh, of our football team, I don't know how much of an advantage it would be. Meyer won't be in Jacksonville and has told some he isn't sure if he will even watch the game. That may be a stretch in a game which could be the tale of two quarterbacks. It's the swan song for much maligned senior Johnny Brantley, who will be back on the field after taking his licks against FSU. On the other sideline, the Florida D knows it will have its hands full with the baddest Buckeye of all, quarterback Braxton Miller, who can do it all, especially with his legs, where he is averaging 90 yards per game in the Buckeyes' last five contests. Braxton Miller is a guy that uh, is a tremendous athlete, uh, is a true freshman that's come in and taken over the reins as a quarterback, and he keeps plays alive. He's an outstanding athlete, can get on the edges and run. Uh, is a guy you got to account for in every, every down. Even with the presence of Braxton, both offenses have struggled this season. Out of the 120 FBS schools, the Gators are ranked 102. The Buckeyes even worse at 107. Learning to live with that kind of offense, one of many transitions this season, but the head Gator sees progress. You see the improvement over, over a period of time with young players. You see young players developing. Uh, I told our freshmen, you're not freshmen anymore. I told them that in the middle of the season, you're sophomores now. So it's time to start acting like it and playing like sophomores, you're juniors, juniors, you're seniors. I mean, it's once you accumulate a lot of snaps, it's time to start growing up and playing better and developing and understand what it takes to be successful. And I've seen a lot of that with our team. You know, Gator fans who sat here in the stands this season have seen numbers. Well, they haven't seen in years. Florida lost six of their final eight games. They were 0-5 against ranked opponents. And if they lose this Gator Bowl coming up, they'll have a losing season for the first time since 1979. A lot of lessons learned for first-year coach Will Muschamp. But what was his biggest? Well, I think the, probably the most disappointing thing, um, you know, or, or poor, poor decision I made was training camp, not having a more physical camp because of numbers. You get nervous about injuries. You get nervous about situations with guys as far as having a more physical camp to prepare our team for the season. And if I had one thing to say, I wish I could have changed, that would be it. Step by step, the Gators are trying to bounce back to prominence. Winning the Urban Bowl would be a solid first step back to the glory of, well, this bowl's so-called namesake. In Gainesville, Mike Neighbors, CST Tonight.